follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Hi beautiful people and let's talk about something lazy about monsters. Gibiate! Action in a post-apocalyptic world. Okay, this one was not Father's Day, this one was my birthday, but I want to show it. Light spoilers. Look, it's such laziness that it's impressive. So, we have good designs. I would say a little too exaggerated as it comes to the girl, but I, I don't even know if she's the main character because she starts the series but then the rest of the episode doesn't have a lot of her. In a post-apocalyptic future that tries to be High School of the Dead, but takes too long to do anything. With time travel at the same time, so we have feudal era Japan characters. And the problem is, they are stretching all along. This is not a bad idea if you're just going to fight against a lot of enemies. It doesn't matter if it's monsters or zombies, but this is supposed to be an action thing with one fight. And I honestly can't tell you if that's because they wanted to do something more dramatic, but if they wanted to, they did not. And at any moment you feel like, hey, it's gonna start now, but it doesn't. So what you end up having is a few well-designed, well-drawn characters doing nothing with a few sprinkled in CGI monsters just to make it horrible. But let the rocks roll. It's a samurai without a katana. The issue isn't he has to fight with something else because he doesn't have the weapon he would use. No, he just doesn't fight. A great example is the shinobi just disappearing from one place into the other. He stays still, he says he made a mistake, he says he's going to be hit, other place. Any decent fighter would have run away from that already. And just to remind you, this samurai that doesn't fight was a general. So no, there's no way this is going to work as an action series, even though it's clearly what they wanted to do. And they make mistakes that are impressive, like I pointed out. The anime opens with the girl making a testimonial, and then you see that she's not going to be the focus of the episode. And then you see she's not the last human alive. So they repeat, if not directly reference the Omega Man, to do nothing with it. It's as if someone took High School of the Dead and said, let's take away every exploitative thing here. But everybody has to like it because it's zombies. Oh, and all of this is a pandemic. So you also have this tone once in a while of, you should have taken this more seriously, you fucknut who went outside. Which I agree with, but I have to say, you're not helping. And the last thing I can say is, the monsters are horrible. I think that's obvious for everybody. And the only interesting thing I saw is that the one who turns in front of the two, head on, it looks like an ankylosaur, but from the side it kind of looks like a gorilla. So, and for a second there, I had a little thing of, maybe there's hope. Nope. But that's it. What did you think of this episode? Leave it on the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And if you enjoyed it, hit the bell. <coughs> Just waiting to see if she's going to stay on my lap or not so I can record. <coughs> Another one jumping on the chair to give me problems. <coughs> you should have taken this more seriously, you dumbhead. Dumbhead which I agree with, but I have to say, you're not helping.